Once you have a manual method for magnetic bead-based nucleic acid extraction that consistently meets your requirements, you are ready to work with a robotics platform. Remember that there are four basic functions of a liquid handling robot for a magnetic bead-based extraction workflow. Liquid moving, magnetization, mixing, and temperature control. Let's discuss each of these operations and how they can affect your extraction. Not all liquids have the same density or viscosity. You can ensure your robot transfers the correct liquid volumes without dripping by defining the class of liquids the platform will handle. If you're using an extraction kit, you can ask the manufacturer for the kit's liquid classes. The manufacturer of the liquid handling robot may also provide suggestions. The robot may also have pre-programmed liquid classes as a starting point for you. Once you program the liquid classes to accurately draw up and dispense the correct volumes without dripping, there are other ways to improve liquid moving. Draw a small volume of air into the handler's pipette before drawing up liquids to help dispense the entire liquid volume. After loading the pipette with liquid, draw up some air to prevent dripping. Pre-wetting pipettes by pipetting liquid up two to three times before drying up the desired volume can improve accuracy. This is especially true for viscous liquids. If you're working with viscous liquids, you can draw extra reagent into the pipette to make sure the correct volume is dispensed. For liquids that are difficult to pipette, you can immerse the pipette tip into the liquid layer while dispensing. This tip should not be used for repeated dispensing. There are two common types of magnetic stands. Ring magnets draw the magnetic beads to a horizontal band along the wall of the sample well. These are best if you're working with low elution volumes. The robot can remove nearly all the supernatant from the well without also removing beads. Post magnets draw beads to the side wall of the well in a vertical line. It can be easier to automate a system that uses post magnets because the beads migrate away from the bottom of the well and out of the path of the pipette. However, larger elution volumes are required. If the robot does not fully immobilize the magnetic beads, some can be lost. This will reduce your nucleic acid yields. Adjusting magnetization time can fix this. One to three minutes is usually enough. Visually inspect to ensure the beads are fully collected. Mixing is where most problems in automated nucleic acid extractions occur. Binding, washing, and the elution steps all require efficient mixing. Poor mixing can lead to low nucleic acid yields and purity. Many factors impact mixing. The main ones are solution viscosity, solution miscibility, magnetic particle size, and particle density. For example, some liquids added during the extraction workflow may not be very miscible or are too viscous and components won't mix well. Liquid handling robots can use a shaker or pipette to mix. When using a shaker, make sure a vortex fully forms and the magnetic particles fully disperse and suspend. If it is difficult to see, recording a video that you can play back in slow motion can help. Using the max shaker speed is not always a good solution to poor mixing. It might just splash your sample. Pipette mixing can mix viscous solutions well, but it is generally more time consuming, so it should be avoided when possible. Pipette mixing takes a long time. For a robot with an eight channel pipette, it takes two hours to mix 96 samples for a 10 minute binding step. For systems that will require pipette mixing, you should consider using a particle moving robot or a liquid handling robot with a 96 channel pipette. Finally, there's temperature control. Applying the wrong temperatures can lead to poor yields and low nucleic acid purity. Enzymes require specific temperatures for maximum activity. High temperatures during the drying step or drying too long can over dry the magnetic beads, resulting in poor elution efficiency. Low temperatures or drying for too short a time may cause impurities to be left behind. Use a thermometer to test if the robot achieves the program temperatures. Follow recommended temperatures and drying times for your extraction kit. Let's recap part three. Make sure your robot pipettes correct volumes and does not drip by programming the correct liquid classes for your system. Mixing is where most problems for magnetic bead-based nucleic acid extractions happen. Be ready to balance optimal robotic performance with meeting your minimum processing requirements. Now let's talk about how these robotic functions can impact the quality of your nucleic acid extraction and some basic ways to troubleshoot. 
Explore our automated nucleic acid extraction resource center at promega.com to find more information and tools to support your workflow development.